Number one, he wants to restrict homeschooling. Yeah, because... Because... Okay, so here's the thing. He, he, but I think what's happening, okay, is... If you look at France and the UK, there seems to be two worlds living side by side with each other, right? And the whole... It, it, it just seems like it's two countries, right? And it's really children are being radicalized in their own homes. And it's really hard to get people to mix with each other and get along with each other if you raise these kids in this, like, theocratic bubbles in your own home, right? Um, and I think maybe addressing this, like, it seems like they're not, they're, they're getting proper information. So it might be a good idea. I mean, I, I'm not sure, but it seems like it. I could change my mind on this. To just say, like, only only children that have, like, very severe disabilities. I think that was what he was suggesting. Kids with very severe disabilities or not that severe. Certain kids that, not, not severe, but certain kids that might need. Um, you'd have to prove that you need homeschooling. Because I think, you know, having Muslim kids not being exposed to the values, French values secular values and being just radicalized by their own parents is just going to make that whole separation between Muslims and the rest of the society a lot worse, right? So I think this might be a good idea. I think this is... Guys, I mean, if you look at... If you compare European countries, Muslims in European, Western European countries, to Muslims in the United States and Canada, you know, if you see that Muslims in the United States and Canada have it a lot better because they're just, they, see, they feel like they're, they're part of society, okay? And the Muslims in the Western, in Western Europe, they keep getting more and more separate for the, from the rest of society. And something like, and that's how they want it. And something needs to give, like something needs to happen. So I think like extreme measures make sense right now. Yeah, he doesn't want to look at why people are keeping the kids at home. <laughs> Forget about our inadequate education system. Oh yeah, inadequate education. Now you want to, what do you want to replace that with? The hadith and the Quran. So you want to radicalize them? Them? Nah, 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 nah. nah. No, no. Got... Actually, you know, you know what? I, I'm in support of that. These kids, with, especially with parents like you, the um, it's uh, like they're if they. I mean, you're not in France. You're probably in the UK, but parents like you in France. Um, they are, I mean, they're French citizens, right? These kids, these Muslim kids, well, well, not Muslim kids, kids of Muslim parents, they're French citizens. And France has a responsibility to make sure that they're properly educated. They're kids. And these parents think like these secular values and the teachings like is just like evil. It's like from the devil or something, right? So they're not going to, so they're going to not let them be properly educated and be too exposed to values that makes them function better in a in a French society. So I'm completely in support of France coming in and protecting its tiny citizens, babies like children, from parents that are limiting the information that they're exposed to. It's it's in their best interest. It's in the best interest of these children. The fools people wait, hold on a minute. GV saying it's good that a center-left po uh, politician is, like Macron is tackling this problem instead of cre uh, instead of uh, ceding this space to bigger than far-right extremists. Very good point, GV. Yes, that's actually a very good point. People force them to go to school, and if force them to go to school, yeah, that's something that the government needs to do, okay? Because kids needs to get educated. That's par part of every. Actually, most countries do that. Most co yeah, kids need to go to school. They need to get educated, especially if the parents are not doing good, especially if the parents are not doing, doing a good job at home to making sure that they have the proper information. Force them to go to school? Yeah, which country doesn't do that? People are taking it upon themselves to educate their kids at home. Nah, nah, I got bad. No, you educate, educate. What you do with your kids with these Islamic studies, that's not educate. Themselves to educate their kids at home? Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Macron on this.
force them to go to school and if people are taking it upon themselves to educate their kids at home mm. and i got ban 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 it mate ban it mate yeah don't forget we are a liberal country mate freedom mate freedom yeah you don't understand what liberal and freedom means okay liberal doesn't mean that you get to do whatever you want okay that's anarchism liberalism is different from anarchism you moron you goddamn moron okay liberalism doesn't mean there's no laws and regulation the gov in a liberal society, the government has uh, has a responsibility to protect its citizens and making sure that they're well equipped to take care of themselves. And that involves making sure that uh, children get educated. Okay, so just oh liberalism, liberalism, freedom. Oh, why are you forcing us to get educated? Yeah, that doesn't contradict liberalism. You idiot. There are laws, there are regulations, there are standards, there are responsibilities that the government has to its citizens. Did, you think like no you, no rules? That's anarchism them to eat as many croissants and snails as you want mate not to look at making friend making fun of french because they eat snails and they imagine if you did that like oh as many croissants and snails as you want imagine if you made a joke like this about muslims about what they eat right these people would be crying out islamophobia you know like oh eat as much as you know, you have to have freedom to eat croissant and snails okay so and they're saying it as a as a way to say like it's disgusting like this is like these people eat snails, right? So, by the way, snails are pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, but if you said that about the people, like, I don't know. I, I can think of a couple of things to say about what, you know. Yeah, but I'm not going to say it, right? But you know what I'm talking about. If you said that, these people would be, like, crying Islamophobia. And snails as you want, mate. Not to forget, as there are certain times where women go to the swimming pools and men go because obviously women don't want to be touched up by the men and ogled and... Yeah, you know what? Most men do not do go in and touch women in swimming pools just because they're, they're not covered in hijab, okay? I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's your community that... No, again, not hashtag not all, okay? But again, this is not a problem, okay? This is not a problem. Like, oh yeah, women want to be seven separate pools. Uh, because they don't want to be touched by men. Yeah, okay, don't worry, okay? Get, people don't, yeah, that's not an issue. You know, that sort of stuff, but that's not good enough for Macron. Yeah. But obviously, you're right. He wants to force men and women, you know, in an environment where more sexual harassment can take place. Yeah, more, again, he, okay, so Macron said, like, these separate, segregated spaces, we need, we need to look into if this is actually segregating your society even more like so having separate you know they're go in, in france they're going in and saying like oh men and women should be separated in pools here and there like they just like to bring the pool example because that makes the their audience get angry the most so like oh you're forcing our women to go swim um na you know semi-naked next to men nobody's forcing you okay you don't have to go to the pool if you don't want to if there if there's men there okay you cannot like imagine how entitled you have to be to be like oh my religion requires me government make me swimming pools that has women separate than men because my religion doesn't let me be swimming next to men thank you government give me my pool give me my segregated pools like, like yeah no maybe Maybe go make make your own, raise your own fundraising and build a pool in your masjid. Build build a pool in your mosque. Why does the government need to do that for you? Okay, if you're private, if you have a private property in your mosque, I'm pretty sure if you build a pool there, nobody's gonna tell you that in your private property, men and women have to swim together. What is this like? What is this like entitlement? They're like, oh yeah, the government has to make pools, men and se women separated because my religion. Like, imagine like, oh yeah, this this is the, this is these people's ideas of freedom. Okay, it's the, they they misunderstand freedom and entitlement. Okay, freedom means that if you have a pool and you don't want men and women to swim together, you don't have to swim together. Freedom doesn't mean that because your religion says men and women don't want to can't swim together, then the government has to provide options pools for you that w with men and women separated from each other that does not that's not freedom that's the government that's you actually the opposite of freedom that's like oh yeah I, I i'm entitled to other people's services based on my religious requirement what the hell is that this this is your idea this is what you and again this coming from people that if they were ruling, running a society there would, there would be literally no freedom and <laughs> and they want the most extreme versions of freedom god damn it man this is hypocr the hypocrisy, it's just...
woof to the roof. So all those uh, pervs, of course, will be looking forward to this. Pervs, yeah, okay, trust me. The, <laughs> okay, most men... Okay, oh, God damn it. I, I want to say things and I don't know if YouTube allows me, so I can't... God damn hey, YouTube. Hey, hey. <laughs> Not to mention forcing Muslim women and women men in general to shake the hands of men obviously uh, he's saying you know women refusing to uh, shake hands or to share a swimming pool uh, with men and as you uh, rightly okay you see the editing i think we we're gonna have to watch this actual interview okay nobody's forcing women to shake the hands of men see okay we, when we watch this video actually without his editing let's see if this is what he said okay hold on he's saying hands of men forcing women to shake the hands of do you guys what are the chances that in france a woman who doesn't like what they're actually proposing let me actually see is this what he said not to mention forcing muslim women and women in general to shake the hands of men forcing muslim women to shake the hands of men what are the chances that what macron is suggesting is that if it was if you are a man and you go and want to shake a muslim woman's hand and the woman says like Sorry, I can't shake your hand, okay? I don't want to shake your hand. What are the chances that what's actually happening in France is like, oh, yeah, no, that's illegal. You, I, you see my hand? Legally, you have to shake it. You have to, this is France. You have to shake my hand. What are the chances of that, is, that, that that's what's happening? Probably a straw man here. I'm just guessing. We'll see. And obviously, uh, he's saying, you know, women refusing to uh, shake hands or to share a swimming pool uh, with men. And as you uh, rightly pointed out, homeschooling will really be an exception. Uh, not going to school or going to school, but not to some music classes, for instance. And not to mention, yeah, again, you never trust these guys editing when they actually showing you an interview. Um, it's just uh, li listed as a potential. Yeah. Idris is saying, it's, they're just wondering what, what, what they were saying is not like, oh, we're going to force women to shake men's hand. What they were saying is like, hey, this, these are signs of, you know, like we're noticing that, the, you know, these people are like this, they're living different lives, they have more different values. And they're just saying like, what's happening here? Are we, are we getting more and more segregated? They were just listing it as things to, to, um, to and to investigate they were they weren't even they were saying they're going to look into what causes because they're noticing segregation is becoming a major problem in france and they were just listing some of the signs nobody's going to force women nobody in france is going to force women to sign in the hands of people that they don't want to shake you know i'm saying speaking against all this covering up business yeah he denounced uh uh, women uh, in full veil, uh, tending to to children, so on. So on. yeah, that's right. Show your bits and bobs to your your bit. Yeah, oh my God, this guy is fucking. Right. Show your bits Hold and up. bobs uh, in full veil, uh, tending to to children, so on. So on. yeah. That okay, so he's like saying, like for example, children in school. I, okay, actually, we'll watch this full interview, right? So he's uh, he's he's not saying that. Look, let's let's listen what he what he's saying. Even the edited part doesn't represent what he's saying. Hold on. Uh, tending to to children, oh. uh, women uh, in full veil, uh, tending to to children, so on. So on. yeah, women in full veil tending to children. Okay, so he doesn't provide any context on what that guy was saying. It just cuts that part out, and now he's suggesting that oh yeah, okay, you think that's bad? So what do you want? You want women showing their what? Yeah, that's right. Show your bits and bobs to your. Show your bits and bobs to children. That's what. That's what. The, yeah, that's what France wants, right? Fr France wants women to just be like exposing themselves to children. That's what France wants, because they because that guy just had made a reference to women in full veil, tending to children. That, that's all. That's what he was suggesting. You dishonest piece of crap. Oh my God or seven eight year old kids sexualize them from a small age and yeah just because yeah children who are not who are not being who are being taught their homework and everything else by women who are not in full hijab that means you're sexualizing them is that really guys is that really what he's saying that guy that's all the, you know this is the alternative to what this guy said. Look, this guy just said, and we have no context. This, yeah. He denounced uh, uh, women, uh, denounced in women. Full veil, uh, women in full veil. Women in full veil. 
tending to, to children. So tending to children, okay? Another sign that, you know, like, again, children are being exposed to normalizing the most extreme versions of Islamic values. And you're not even get to see the face of the person that is teaching you, okay? Which is very important for a psychological connection between children and their teachers, right? So that could be a concern. But the alternative to the teacher not being in full veil when they're teaching their ch children, this thing's the alternative is what? So on, so on. Yeah, that's right. Show your bits and bobs to your seven, eight year old kids. Sexualize them from a small age. That's the alternative. That's the alternative. You're sexualizing them from a young age if you're not in full hijab while you're teaching them. And then sling the pedos in prison and claim you are looking after society, mate. See? The heart of the issue, and the, you can feel it's important uh, for him, maybe because his uh, wife used to be a teacher, is school. He said, this is really where we need uh, to fight. And he said, I'm going to announce a very radical measure uh, going to school will be mandatory as of three year old and as you uh, rightly pointed out homeschooling will really be an exception this will not be allowed because he only said, in the case of severe see did you see what he was saying yes yeah, so homeschooling would be an exception um, because it's, it seems to be a major source of radicalization and segregating children from the rest of society so he's like we need to cut that crap out which is a good point but he also recognizes that some kids do need homeschooling. So... In the case of severe physical... Yes, because uh, he... So, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, severe... So, yeah, okay, so that's... Severe physical... Yes, uh, because he said some, some children, we... Uh, he gave a lot of examples, were essentially... Uh, not... Guys, go... If you listen to Macron's entire speech, it was a l very detailed and very nuanced. It wasn't like at all like what that Muslim guy was uh, making it seem to be. Going to school or going to school, but not to some music classes for instances and essentially going to parallel structures with no control whatsoever and so he said we need uh, to uh, to fight this we also need uh, to ensure that private schools see did you see how they edited this part in the muslim video like they didn't include any of this important stuff they just like they really tried to make it seem ridiculous and they couldn't even do that should be monitored he said uh, yeah. there's no way we're going to prevent people from going to private school, choosing private schools, but we need to have a title lit on their uh, financing, especially when it comes from other countries. Yeah. And he also said that we need to build a structure for Islam in France.